Hello and welcome to Modeling Misadventures and in today's video I'm going to be doing part four of the Lancaster Bomber. A quick look at the mag, there are the instructions for this week's build and then a few little articles, this one on the sinking of the tur pits and then the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine. Lovely. These are the parts for this build. We've got a, some of the side fuselage here, and then I think that's a cockpit floor, and various other bits of pieces, control panels and the like. So this is a cockpit floor, very nice. And then there's just a control panel that goes down the side here, just a push fit. Look how easy that is. Now this is the left side of the front fuselage and then we're just going to put on three little control panels for the navigator. Now I am going to do a little bit of painting on these once I get it all together but for the moment I'm just going to put them in. Just a tiny bit of glue on there just to hold it in. Now that's the bomb aimers parachute. It's just gonna go in here. Like that. Now this parachute is gonna be put on the bottom of the floor, fuselage floor from the previous issue. Right down there in those holes. And this is the front of the cockpit floor. Just glue that in. Look at that, that's a bomb aimer's rest. Now here's another beautiful fuselage panel. Look at that, beautifully painted. And we're gonna put a couple of windows in here. Just gonna use canopy glue like before. Now for the next part, we need this canopy from the top of the fuselage and we're going to put inside it an armoured glass panel and a curtain that's wrapped up. And that's what that looks like. And the final part of this stage is to fit these little tiny de-icing sprays that go in front of the canopy window. Now those nozzles used to spray glycol onto the windscreen to de-ice them. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now with a model like this, you've got to decide, are you just going to build it as is, or are you going to add any extra details uh, or extra painting like weathering? So I'm probably going to do a little bit of that. Uh, there's a lot of resources online, photographs and the like, but I'm also going to be referring to this, which is the Haynes manual on the Avro Lancaster bomber. And this has some pretty useful information in it. There's a diagram of the upper cockpit canopy that we made last time. And here are some photos of the interior. There's the bomb aimers rest that we just installed into the bottom of the fuselage. And there's quite a few pictures of the interior of a Lancaster, which will be pretty helpful when you come to building those sections in the model. And most of the work we've been doing up until now has been on this section of the aeroplane. And I think in the next few stages, we're going to be just adding more and more details to this bit. Well, there we have it. Another stage of Guy Gibson's Lancaster Bomber. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.